<clears throat> Think that's dirty enough to climb? Aye. Good old dwarven craftsmanship. <clears throat> Tyr was a friend to the giants. I wonder if he and Mom ever met. If he was a part of the rebellion here. It's certainly possible. The god of war often advocated for the giants. Although I don't recall if he ever declared allegiance outright. Okay, there's got to be some way to turn the wheel up here. Well there! Give a man some warning if he's about to suddenly end up snout deep in cheek. The ground. Was that an earthquake? Hmm. An occasional but not unheard of happenstance in Spartelfine. With all the mining here, the land's bound to be a wee bit bothered. Oh, wow. Nice job getting it to lower exactly where we need it. <laughs> I was thinking, because it's so warm, maybe it's not that the cold hasn't made it here yet, but maybe it's just different in Spotify? I lie. Fimble Winter doesn't strike all realms quite the same way. Weird that Fimble Winter doesn't always make it winter. In Midgard it does, but as you can see, the effects here appear far more gaseous in nature. Observe the geysers. Observe the aforementioned aroma. These effects were present before in some form, but now there's new extremity to them. Think we can fit under that bridge? Go! 
those geysers? Hmm. I think we need to get that wheel moving, but the water doesn't reach. Ingenuity for you. Back to the boat. If the dwarves of this realm are anything like Rock and Sindri, it's hard to imagine them siding with Odin. Well, all too often people are blinded to all but their immediate self interest. Odin offered them safety, and defying him can be quite dangerous. Maybe they just need a couple of gods to come along and take the fight to him. Atreus, that is not why we are here. I was only joking. War is not a joke. Especially where gods are concerned. This place is wrecked. And yes, I am staying alert. There are probably tons of those brim around.
Good thing you learned the runes, brother. That's everything here. Want to get going? Atreus, you intend to recruit Tyr as an ally for war. I just... I'm trying to keep our options open. Let's just keep moving. I'm glad we're out here, exploring a new realm. Maybe we could just try to enjoy the warmth? Looks like we gotta find a way to open that gate if we want to get to Nithavalir. Then how shall we catch it? Flank it. Attack from behind. Good.
Halfway there. There's got to be another chain to lower the rest of the gate. Chain we can pull up there. Cover that guy from here. Oh, I think I get it. If you freeze the geyser, the pressure will turn the wheel. coming down. Can you see anything from that block? That's one of Cavassier's poems. Very highbrow. You should collect any others you... Exactly, are you hoping to learn from Tia? Well, like I said, I was hoping he could tell me something about Loki. I'd also like to hear some of his stories. Traveling to other lands, giant stuff, and maybe about what it was like to fight back in the day. Just for the history, obviously. History? <laughs> Let's hope Tia's in a talkative mood after being in prison for so long. Not all of Odin's captives can be as charmingly voluble as myself. We have no proof Tyr is truly here. Right. That earthquake earlier. Do you think there will be another one? It's unlikely, but geological disturbances tend to be unpredictable. If the geysers and smell here are worse because of Fimblewinter, Maybe the earthquakes are too? Aye. You might be onto something, lad. Atreus, look ahead. Wow. Now this looks like a city. Welcome to neither of the other brothers.
Hey, towards. Oh. They're uh running away. An alarm. I'd only sound an alarm like that if I still had my body and was fearing the notion of being detached from it. Why all that for us, though? They are scared. Most definitely an alarm, I'm afraid. Why is everybody hiding? Stay alert. Can we talk we to you don't for want any trouble, please? There'll be no help, to be sure. Best we find the tavern Sindri mentioned on our own. And hope they let us in. The buildings here really are incredible. The detail in the woodwork is quite extraordinary. <laughs> Statue of Odin? They must really love him here. Or fear him. Sindri! Hello! I'd return your surprise, but I did know you'd be here. I've got something for you. Thanks for grabbing that for us. What is it, Dwarf? You know, I'm glad I came back here at least once before Ragnarok. Oh, if these cobblestones could talk. Then they'd have mouths. Filthy, disgusting mouths. Do you mind if I fiddle with your bow? Oh, you are long overdue for a replacement. <sighs> Taking advantage of certain material... Ow. Structural sensitivity to sonic vibrations has been something... Uh, I've been meaning to try for quite some time now. Thanks for, uh, finally trying it? What's it gonna be this time? <sighs> Patience! I find it's best to see these things... In action! Ah! Whoo! <sighs> there. Oh, take aim at that gate there. But before you loose, say, Skialfa. I certainly didn't expect you to disturb half the creepy crawl of the people here. How was I supposed to know they were there? Okay, so, Derlin. Sindri, any idea where the tavern is? Do I look like I've ever been to a filthy tavern? The sewer you just punched a hole through seems promising, though. For you. It should lead to the other side of the city. It's not like you're able to open other doors around here. So this lockdown really is because of us? Oh my, yes. Odin's grip on this realm is so firm, any outsider is considered a threat. Sounds like an Odinism if I ever had one. <laughs>
Another of Cavassier's poems. At your service. That belonged to one of the rebels, didn't it? Strike true. Till we meet again. Best of luck. Any outsider is considered a threat. Is that to protect the dwarves? It sounds like it. But knowing Odin, there's sure to be an ulterior motive. Well... Everyone's hiding on this side, too. Odin's occupation of this realm has its hooks in deep. But there aren't any guards patrolling. We're clearly not a threat. Why hide? Resist and you're made an example of. To keep the rest in line. Self-preservation can outweigh bravery for even the strongest. Fear keeps them safe and alive. <laughs> A firebomb from the chief anti-Odin propagandist in Durland's Rebellion. Quite a sharp wit she had until she turned to subtle means of resistance. <laughs> Some special equipment to use this. Excuse me, but we're looking Nothing for... Nothing for you here. I don't care what you want. No food, no encouraging words. No nothing. Leave! Oh, wow. Andrew wasn't kidding about the structural sensitivity. This looks promising, right? Well, it's like a house. If he's here, 
Maybe you should let me do the talking. You. Well, we don't want to intimidate him. You're tall as a tree, and you have a severed head on your head. <clears throat> None taken. Fair point, though. Very well. I think that's him. Hello? Watch yourselves. Apparently, there are intruders about. Oh, that's us, I think. Eh, well, if you're planning on killing me, at least let me finish this song. That alarm was in just the perfect key. We're just looking for a friend of ours named Derlin. <laughs> well, we both know that's not true. Derlin's got no friends left. But if that's all you need, head out the back way there, and you'll see the safety office just across the river. Just don't go making trouble for the rest of us. And while you travel through this realm, maybe you could clean up the head's mess? What mess? Later, brother. to hear of this mess. The rig's in the bay. Why don't you ask the condescending skull? Head, I've got skin. But he's right. I made a mistake. I'd have us shut them down. Sorry, one more thing. Although, these are gifts I'm giving to you, so I shouldn't be sorry and you should be thankful. Anyways, here, please be careful. It's beautiful. Thanks, Sindri. It is beautiful, isn't it? It's also very useful. You'll be able to find anything your heart desires with it. Really? As long as your heart desires the locations your father and you decide and plot to travel together, then yes. It is a compass. Ah, but a beautiful compass. Now, scamper off. Come. A boat cannot be far. Huh. Earlier, Sindri made it sound like Derlin was some sort of rebellion leader. It didn't sound like anyone's following him. Was being the key word here, little brother. I saw a dock back there. Maybe there's a boat we can use to get to Derlin's.
There's a building just past these rocks behind me. Maybe we should head that way. Ah, oh, those bloody mining rigs. What about them? The Skald is right to blame me for them. They were my idea. If you've got the time, they're in the bay just beyond this tunnel. I'd particularly appreciate us checking out the mining rigs in the lake to the right. You can see the smokestacks from here. But if you don't want to explore now, it looks like Derlin's place is through that open gate to the left. So, which way do we go? We could prepare more before rescuing Tyr. Up to you. Mimir, are you really the one who had those rigs built? Odin wanted the dwarves under his control, and, well... I convinced him he could buy their allegiance instead of demanding it outright. A trade agreement of sorts. What is that? Dead. That dragon sculpture is not bad.
Not the first time someone's told me that, I suppose. See something. Taking a break before visiting Durlin? Very wise. He can be... a lot. At your service. Poor souls. Fighting the Ace here is a thankless job, as you well know. By the way, if you're headed to the mining rigs in the bay, could you bring me any slag you find? I could use the material for my crafting. Whatever you need. Nothing appeals to you? Huh? <laughs> 
No. It's still here. What? The island near the geyser. We need to get the key from it and unlock this. We need... I need... The set right is very old wrong. Bloody Frogger hole! We've got to clear out all these oh. dead bastards! Oh. You're on fire! But you probably already know that! the door a prisoner of sorts hmm. greetings boys get to see you Mining rigs is here. See the smoke above us? That's where we're headed. Let's see if we can't shut it down. to explore here. Kind of nice to be out of Midgard for a bit, huh? Ah! 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 
The rig's likely chock a block with materials that could help us. I'd grab whatever it spits up in the process. One written down. agreed to the deal with Asgard, why do they blame you? I talked them into their own exploitation. They made their choice. Work or die is not a choice. I only made it seem so. What you just picked up there is pure Spartalfheim ore. It won't be of use in the rig anymore, but perhaps our Huldra brothers could craft something from it. Father, is it always moral to kill something that's trying to kill you? Yes. Well, there you have it, lad. Getting better. Faster. I'd even be better than you one day, huh? If you are not, I have failed. Oh. How did these rigs come to be? I had them built to harvest ore for armaments. Essentially harnessing resources that would otherwise go to the dwarves. You think shutting these things down will help the dwarves become independent? I don't know, but I have to try something. Mimir, how many stories have you told about Odin and Thor? And all the bad Enough. things they've done? We will continue later. The key to that watchtower door should be on this island somewhere.
The ground looks weak down here, Father. <laughs> that gear. Looks like it would freeze. Maybe that lift can help us get higher. Might be easier to break that ground from up there. the ground from up there? Over here? 